stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Planet X is real. Anyone who tells you otherwise is being disingenuous, is uneducated, or is deceiving you for purposes unknown. Two things happened around 2004, 2005, 2006. They found a bunch of Planet X's and Pluto got demoted. Somehow the only thing the public is really aware of is that Pluto got demoted. Even though the news on Sedna, Eris, Make Make, Hanume is public, it slipped between the cracks of the modern mindset of man. And for some freaking reason, you've been an army of shills, trolls, and nihilists who I think have been both putting up crazy ass theories like Nibiru and debunking those theories at the exact same time. Side note, totally unrelated, an asterisk. Marshall Mathers, who has been talking about Blue Bonnet or Nibiru or whatever, put up a video. Astro Mutt, who is a better astronomer than most professional astronomers, but is still an amateur astronomer. I don't know how to explain it. Him and Dez the cameraman apparently made videos debunking Marshall Mathers' video. Now, A, I will say, I don't believe in Nibiru. I think it was some like thing to discredit any talk of planets outside of Pluto, trans-Plutonian objects, Kuiper Belt objects, scattered disk objects, call them what you will. And so when you've got like the professional astronomers and the amateur astronomers spending more time debunking than they are promoting the things that are cool and fascinating and mysterious about science, you know, it's just weird. Where the search for other planets that are in our solar system, which means that are affected by our sun's gravitational pull and go around the sun. And the legendary OARC cloud, which is still a theory, goes on for over 100 astronomical units. So yeah, there's gonna be a ton out there. And yeah, it's super weird. We found like 1900 exoplanets and faraway galaxies, but somehow we can't find any in our own. Like my ex non teammate, Amy Mainzer said, her and her wise team were there were like, yep, we didn't find anything interesting really. We didn't find any planets or planet X's or Herculupuses or Dachis or Nemesis or we, we didn't find anything interesting, man. Well, maybe she should, uh, on her team should have Mike Brown come down for a while. I just wonder why he got silent and got out of the game. Integrity may be a hard thing to deal with in science. Anyway, so, so the people who were like, so the idea that the hunt for Planet X or the search for it or the interest in it is somehow irrational or crazy or bullshit, that's bullshit, man. You know, they don't really want you paying attention to outer space or thinking about anything other than the sports game, a reality show that is on your television, and working and paying your taxes. And now you've even got professional astronomers who aren't really connected to the major space major space agencies talking about with the discovery of Sedna. As I've mentioned the entire time at Thor News, Sedna is the key to everything dealing with Planet X, binary, trinary, star field, star systems. And then when they found Vice President Biden 112-113, well, even though their orbits aren't similar, they are linked. And that presence alone suggests a possible interplanet or two giant planets could be lurking out there. And duh, now this isn't doomy. Like, as I've stated before, Sedna never really gets that close to Earth, but it is fascinating. And so I'm taking you on a journey with me. We're kicking on over to the Library of Congress. We're going over everyday mysteries, fun science facts from the Library of Congress. Question. Question. Why is Pluto no longer a planet? Answer. The International Astronomical Union, the IAU, IAU, downgraded the status of Pluto to that of a dwarf planet because it did not meet the three criteria that the IAU uses to define a full-sized planet. And the IAU did come up with the actual definition and the criteria and the rules the exact same year they demoted Pluto. So they invented rules, and then we're like, oops, Pluto, you are demoted. Thereby stealing the thunder of Sedna, Eris, Haname, Make Make. So in August 2006, the IAU came up with criteria and then downgraded the status of Pluto to that of dwarf planets. This means that from now on, only the rocky worlds of the inner solar system and the gas giants of the outer system will be designated as planets. 
See, what they did is they now semantically destroyed Planet X. Because if the only things that can be planets are the things that are already known as planets, then Planet X is dead. By government thinking. Then Planet X is dead. Then Planet X is dead. By See how that works. So I guess it's Dwarf Planet X. Sweet. What is a dwarf planet? Dangling dingleberries. Hey, I made a funny joke. Somebody was talking about a planetary scientist wedding. And so, since I have been doing research on IAU rules for shit, I said, hey, what is the IAU rule for spouses? Is it one per number of moons that orbit that planet? The people who understand the moon system of Saturn, that is an amazing joke. Am I the funniest guy in Earth astronomy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is the Kool-Aid man best Kool-Aid salesman ever? What a horrible analogy. You're harping me.